Yeah, this went way over here. All right, we're in AP calculus, AB, subject 4.4, solutions. Number one, what's the following is the equation for the line tangent? Every single time you see equation of the line tangent, um, we do, um, well, I was do my, my y minus box is equal to box times x minus box. And we need to find each of these. It tells us the x coordinate is 1, so I plug in the x coordinate of 1. It tells us the y coordinate is 1, which means the y coordinate is 1. And then we just need to find the slope, and we're done. The slope needs the derivative. We don't have the derivative, so let's find the derivative. Y prime, in this case, is going to be equal to x to the power of 4. Wait, that's not right. Y prime is equal to 4x to the power of 3. There we go. Minus 3x squared minus 2x. Yes. I thought that says the point 1.1. Point point one. Plus x, right? Oh, yeah. Plus it says point 1.1. One point one, uh, that's not mine. It says 1.1. One point one. No. Uh, mine says 1.1. One point one. Mine's a 1, comma 1. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely supposed to be a 1, comma 1. I will retype this so it's not so pixelated. Yeah, I thought mine said 1.1. I was so confused. I apologize for that lack of uh, clarity there. I will definitely fix that. I feel terrible that this has not been retyped yet. I will get that done by next year. All right. And if you're watching this next year class, I'm sorry. I didn't do any of that. I'm sure. All right. Um, I have y prime. Let's go ahead and plug in our x squared. x squared of not 1.1, but 1. And let's go into each of these x's. So what do we get here? We're going to get y prime is equal to 4 times 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 1. It's going to equal 4 minus 3 minus 2 plus 1. Um, that's going to be 0. Is that right? Oh my god, that's equal to 0. That means this is equal to 0. None of this mattered. None of that right side mattered. Only the left side mattered. I essentially have y minus 1 is equal to 0, and I just have to add one whole side, and y is equal to 1. Okay. Oh, I mean, meant to circle A there. A for divorce. So let's do number 2. Um, we have a differentiable function, and we're looking for an estimate for a, ooh, they have a, this is, I can tell this is an older problem from like the 90s, because they use the words local linear approximation and estimate. Those are keywords meaning you are doing a line. You're doing the y minus box is equal to box times x minus box. All right, what do we have in here? We have an x coordinate of 3, so x coordinate is 3. We have a y coordinate of 2, so y coordinate of 2. And we have the slope. Oh, it gave us a slope of 5. And we just need to plug in 3.1. So this 3.1 is plugged in for this x, and we're going to have y minus 2 is equal 5 times 3.1 minus 3. All right, mental math. 3.1 minus 3 is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 times 5 is 0.5. So I'm going to I have 0.5 here, and y minus 2 to the left. And if I add 2 both sides, I get 2.5 for my y coordinate, which means the answer is C. 2.5. Good job, guys. And so you're doing the same, right? Yeah, so far, we, our answers have been A and then C. All right, and then D, C, right? 3. We have that equation, and we're looking for y prime, and it gives us a point. This sounds very familiar. Let's go ahead and take the derivative, because we need to find y prime. So that's a 2y, y prime, plus product rule. 1d2 plus 2d1. 2d1 is like that, like that. Whoop, 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 y. And that's going to be equaling, um, derivative of 6 is 0. All right. And immediately, plug in. Our x coordinate is a 1, or y coordinate is 3. This now says 2 times 3y prime plus negative 1 y prime plus 3 is equal to 0. All right, so what do we have here? I have a 6 y prime minus y prime plus 3 is equal to 0. That means 5 y prime is equal to a negative 3. Divide both sides by 5, and y prime is equal to a negative 3. That's the correct answer, A. Oh my god, look at this improvement. Doesn't it feel great? Ah. Alden has a gas stick over there that looks really cool. And then we move on to number four. Um, those are, that is very similar to Sierpinski's gas stick. So oh. you see circles instead of triangles. All right. If x plus y is equal to xy, we're looking for y prime again. So let's take the derivative. I have 1 plus y prime, and that's going to equal a product rule. So 1, you saying 1d2, but then I just don't write it. 1d2 plus 2d1. And from here, I just need to solve for y prime. Y primes need to be on the same side. I'm going to arbitrarily choose the right side because there's more things happening over there, I guess. It doesn't really matter. You guys choose the right or the left side? I chose the right side. 
right side? Okay. We're going to put the y primes over here, so I'm going to have an x, y prime. Let's get rid of this y, so you're going to have a negative y over here. Let's get rid of this y prime over here, so I'm going to have a negative y prime over here. And I have a uh, positive one still over here. Okay. So far, so good. We have two y primes. We want one y prime. The way we do that is by factoring out a y prime. X minus one is left over, and that's equaling one minus y over here on the left. All right, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by x plus and minus plus one. But x minus one and x minus one, and that's going to give me y prime is equal one minus y all over x minus one. I have a feeling that answer is not going to be there. One it's minus y. Oh. I literally have the exact thing, but never happens. If it is backwards, just remember this. Anytime that you have a fraction, you are allowed to do the multiply. Oh you are allowed to multiply the top and bottom by negative 1, which means you can also have the same answer as negative 1 plus y all over negative x plus 1. This is the same thing as this thing. I just multiply the top and bottom by negative 1. They are synonymous. So it's not b. Um, that says y minus 1, and we're supposed to do 1 minus y, and yeah, x minus 1 is correct, but 1 minus, yeah, this is very different than 1 minus y. Cool. All right, and finally, we have like one minute left. Let's see how fast we can do this. Equation of the line changes. Ready, set, go. y minus box is equal to box times x minus box. Point of inflection, dear God, here we go. Second derivative, y prime is equal to 3x squared minus 12x. y prime prime is equal to 6x minus 12, which is equal to 6 times x minus 2. Set that equal to 0, gives us x is equal to 2. It is a sign change, which means x is 2 up here. When I plug in 2 into this equation, I'm going to get y is equal to 2 cubed minus 6 times 2 squared. This is going to be equal to h minus 6 times 4, which is 8 minus 24, which is negative 16. Negative 16, my goodness. And then I find the derivative, which means I plug it in 2 into my y prime. y prime is equal to 3 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2. That's going to be 3 times 4 minus 24, which is 12 minus 24, which is negative 12. So I have a negative 12 here. How many of these have a negative 12? Ah, most of them. They, okay, so I actually have to distribute. Distributing gives me y plus 16 is equal to negative 12x plus 24. If I subtract the 16 on both sides, this is going to be a plus 8. Correct answer, A. No, you still got it right. Never mind. Yay. Two mistakes make that right. I went wrong because for some reason it was going really fast. I actually made a dash and made it a negative 2. So it was negative Two cubed. I somehow got negative thirty-two. I somehow. Yeah, and again, three lefts make a right, and two wrongs in math sometimes make a right. Yippee! <laughs> All right. Um, out of five fingers, how well did you guys do on that one? Better than one? Oh, better! Holy! Mo she got a hundred percent. Yeah. So I got zero. Keywords in the screen. What? You were guessing. I heard.